Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Breeze, Breezeway Productions' The Breeze, where we bring you the latest in independent films and film festival news, and we are excited and thrilled to kick off our coverage of this year's Tribeca Film Festival, the 2023 edition. With our first interview, uh, we have cinematographer Xavier Dolian, uh, who worked on the film uh, Marinette, which will be screening at uh, <laughs> Tribeca this year. How are you? Hi, I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you for having me in your in your podcast. I'm very glad oh, to yes. be here. Uh, we're happy to have you on the show to talk about uh, cinematography. So uh, first, tell me a little bit about the film that's uh, premiering at Tribeca. So Marinette is a story of uh, Marinette Pichon. Marinette Pichon was a very famous uh, French female soccer player at that time. Uh, end of the 90s beginning of like uh, yeah of 2000 and she played in she played she started very young and she played with boys for part of her life until her 16 i think and then she moved to the french uh, soccer team then to the philadelphia soccer team so she had a big career in the feminine soccer and in parallel of that we told the story of a uh, very hard life in terms of family with a very a violent father and uh, um so basically she used the, the soccer as an escape you know mm -hmm. so uh we're, we're looking at some history here with uh with this subject and it's uh it's we're talking soccer so tell me a little bit about how you did the a cinematic take on this uh when you're focusing on a soccer player that that's that's a good question actually we Marinette is a is a is a movie about soccer, but this is not a soccer movie. You know what I mean. This is more a biopic about someone. So we were very uh, we did a lot of uh, discussion prior of the shooting bef during the prep time about how to shoot the soccer. You know how mm -hmm. to cover those big fields. Do we need to shoot the whole? match happening uh, or do we need on, only a few parts of, of certain very important uh, moment of our life and and where will be the where will the camera be uh, is it going to be far away as we are used to to see soccer soccer match you know or is it going to be very close uh, to the actress so we had all those questions and basically two things uh, were very important for Virginie Verrier, the director. One was to be very close to the actress in the, on the soccer field, to stay in a kind of in, intimacy, you know, to stay with them. And mm -hmm. she didn't want to shoot from very far away like we see with very long lens. So we, actually, we did only one match like that. Uh, we, 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 we shot with a very long lens, a 300 millimeter, very far away, because in the story, someone is watching from the seats. But most of the time, we were shooting with a, a beautiful toy, toy co called, um, name the, the Agito for Motion Impossible. This is basically a small rover uh -huh. uh, with a remote head. And we were running and pushing and pulling uh, all around the, the actress on the field. Wow. So and, how, how big that, was your camera team? I mean, because like, that seems like you have the the machine that you had to use. You have the long lens, so your your uh, uh, people that were getting uh, focus, like your focus puller, rather, I'm sure, was working overtime trying to make sure that everything stayed in focus. So, did you have a, a lot of people on that team? Yeah, we had a lot of people. Actually, Marinette is really a movie with two side you have one side intimate small spaces, you know, like a bedroom and small house, and you have the big spaces with the soccer field, and on the soccer field during those match we were using several cameras in many setups like steadicam the agito sometime also i was using the small extension unit which is a reduced version of the sony venice camera to run to give some energy uh so during the soccer we we had a big crew yeah like up to three 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 to four cameras at, at, at the same time sometime or in turn around you know just to be ready for every setup wow that is, that is a uh, a lot of moving pieces to to shoot this this film. Uh, is there anything in particular that you that you enjoyed uh, more than others? Any spe specific scene or movement or uh, you know uh, setup that you had that was really something special where you could say this is some cinematic genius or some cinematic excellence? Yeah, I think using the agito was kind of a challenge because it was not that. Initially, this is a tool more done for fashion show, 
concert. This is a, a basic rover, like a big one, like 50 kilogram, you know, with a remote head on top of that. So that was kind of a challenge to use it for a narrative work. We did some tests. We did one full day of tests with the Agito and with the crew also to be able to talk with the specific camera operator used to shoot like sport and fashion and those things. Mm -hmm. So we basically we incorporated this tool to the way of working in the in narrative and and that was really interesting and also that was not very easy to use because we were very long lens running after right. the actress or or pulling the actress or the action or part of the action that was not easy also because when you rehearse you know a soccer um action uh, this yeah. is never the same when you shoot and this is after takes after take you know especially when you shoot with uh, non-professional actress so we had i mean they were professional actress <laughs> but yeah. non-professional soccer player sorry for that yeah. no no so, it's it's fine you, it's like a dance right when you have the actress yeah. working with you and you have to move especially within these uh you know specs if you have a really long lens and the slightest movement can move you out of frame because you're tight from so yeah. far away it can throw it so yeah. the communication has to be there uh when you were doing yeah. this i'm sure I'm sure you like the uh, like you said it was a two part a two sided film the intimate spaces and then the the very wide spaces would yeah. you say the yeah. intimate spaces were a little bit more comfortable and you were able to have more flexibility yes and no because that was so small actually uh, very very Virginie Verrier wanted to shoot um, on location no stage for that so we were looking for the perfect house a small house in a, in a small neighbor in the north of France so we we. We basically, the house was for renting, I think, something like that. And we rented it for like one month. We changed all the painting, all the furniture, and the house was our house. We, we shot this way, everything. And, and But they were very, very, very small space with a lot of action to mm -hmm. cover. We spent many days in the, in the house, in the family house. And that was another challenge. Obviously, a bit more simple because of the weather. You know, we were inside. Yes. We were lucky enough to have a lot of sun when we were outside. So the movie is kind of sunny, which is strange because we shot during the January, February, you know, March uh, period in France. Different weather. And yeah. Uh, But yeah, I mean, that was really uh, a challenge also to shoot in those, in those small spaces, actually. Yeah, uh, well, I, I can't wait for our audiences to check out the film, which will be premiering at Tribeca this year. Uh, do you know when the, the film will be playing or uh, do you want me to put the, the in, in the comments below? Yeah, actually, the film is going to be released in France uh, June the 7th. Mm -hmm. and, and in Tribeca, it's going to be, I think, Sunday 11. Wonderful. Uh, Sunday, May, uh, Sunday, June 11th. Sunday, June 11th. Sunday, June 11th. Uh, I yeah, will post Sunday, the link June below. 11th. Uh, yeah. for for tickets if anybody's interested in checking that out and i want to thank you for taking the time to speak with me today uh xavier dolian about the cinematic work you did on manonet thank you